I don't know. Maybe the director thought it would provoke conversation or something. Provoke conversation? Well, start one here. Well, yeah, it did start one here, I suppose. But that's because I was a horny little 14-year-old when I watched it. Yeah, that's why you stole it. And that, and you keep telling everyone that. They just collect porn. No, I don't tell everyone your mum dad... Well, I do. Yeah, you're right. But they do ha- did have a porn collection. It was one DVD with a couple of sex scenes. Did they collect the DVD? <laughs> <laughs> they did. They went to the shop, paid their money, collected the DVD into a bag, left, watched it with you. You have a bigger porn collection. Than that. I don't have a big porn collection. You, Next are. question. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. My one. Okay. All right. This one's about the staring at the back of a girl's head. This isn't, isn't even funny. <laughs> Tell your story. I'm not even going to get involved because really? it's funny. Yeah. Right. Well. <laughs> Paul used to have a bit of a crush on this girl. I was 13, 14. Yeah, but uh, he wouldn't. He would stare at her while she was in the music room at lunchtime. And then one time, <laughs> there, there was no music room on. And all you could see was the back of her head, really. But we just caught him staring at the window. And then we were like, oh, what are you doing? There's no one in there. He's like, this is where the back of her head would be. I said that as a joke. No one took it. No one took it. It sounded serious. We all thought you were that desperate. I was. (laughs) I was fourteen. A creepy little virgin. (laughs) Oh well, that is embarrassing. I have no retort other than I was joking. (laughs) (laughs) There's absolutely nothing I can say to that one. Time was the next one then. Next question. Why do you get weird every time you have caffeine? Why do you get a little bit perky? And then feel sick and have to go to bed early, and then wake up three hours later annoyed that you're awake, annoyed at your own body clock. Are you asking why? Yeah, why? I can tell you why. Why? Because once I decided, I really like these like <coughs> uh, chocolate covered coffee beans. I oh, you amazing. idiot! But once I decided to eat a whole bag of them, and a whole bag of chocolate covered coffee beans makes you very ill. Yeah, I'm just imagining the sugar and the caffeine. And then who, who introduced you to chocolate covered coffee beans? Kirsty. Kirsty, who's Kirsty? Uh, my ex. Who's ex? Mine. Who else is ex? Yours. <laughs> That's creepy. It's not creepy. You know, it is a wee bit though. You haven't did anything for. I went about for. I introduced her to our group of friends and you. You did a lot more. If than you that. want me to go back in past and not introduce her to well, you. I'll write, I'll, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> but during the introduction, I could write down another couple of things actually. But... This is the introduction? No, fruit. So you're saying you introduced Kirsty to us. I can think of another couple of things to write down to embarrass you. Yeah, I suppose, if you want to try and embarrass me. Okay, you know what, I'm going to say this one now. You threw poo at her. No, I didn't. <laughs> I threw a condom at her and there just happened to be poo in the condom. Who put poo in the condom? I put the poo in the condom. <laughs> <laughs> and chased her shit and pooey willy. That's all I want to say. That's all you want to say. Well, yeah. that is embarrassing as well. Right. Is that my question or was that your question? I don't know. I think I... Uh, I think that was my question, wasn't it? The caffeine, I, caffeine weird. You never even explained caffeine weird. I just... I don't know. I get weird with caffeine. I get... You buy me like a can of Coke sometimes <laughs> just to entertain yourself and I'll get really, like, giddy and then I'll just crash. I'd um, love to get you on, like, MDMA or ecstasy and then just film it. I, I wouldn't like that. That'd be amazing. Anyway. Right, you've got a question. <coughs> the back of the well gate there was a oh god <laughs> sakes why do you keep doing this to me this was a terrible idea <laughs> I think you're wearing Catherine's underwear I think I you was, stole it I put stole on. Catherine's underwear and I was wearing it was quite tight as well because it was girls, <laughs> girls underwear and then the, these two what's it little girls came by Maybe 10 years old or something. Yeah, but how old were we? Not that old. We were 15, 16. 15, 16. Definitely 15, 16. Probably, yeah. <laughs> and you decided to show the girls what underwear you were wearing. <laughs> and they immediately got a security guard. <laughs> and then there was police. And we ran away. Everyone, there was a big group of us and we all scattered into the four directions. And I remember specifically choosing the opposite direction from you. That makes sense. Because <laughs> I also remember that day. And you got your willy out. And started dancing, saying, touch my willy, touch my willy. That didn't happen. <laughs> it could have happened. <laughs> well, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> You're more likely to do that. 
I have never asked a ten year old to touch my willy. No, but you should. But you, anyway. you actually have. Yeah, a, look, I'm wearing women. This is my next question. I've decided okay. you actually have past experience with younger women. Is that true or not? What do you mean? Younger women. You mean Rachel? Fourteen when you two first did it. I was right. Mm. I was sixteen. How old was she? Like fifteen, but it was like two months before. Oh, it's breaking the law. Still breaking the law. You're technically still a pederast. I had sex before you shot. When did? How did you? You didn't have sex before me, did you? Oh. Bird. Yeah. No, you didn't. Well, okay, I didn't then. I know when I had sex. When did you have sex? Twenty eighth of July two thousand and six, because I just turned sixteen. Okay, and you did. I did. It was a few months because I remember giving you hints and tips. I remember guiding you in the first time you did it. I don't think I. I remember really, really dabbing your no. brow, bringing you a little towel, going, "Calm down, you, and it's okay." Just afterwards. <laughs> like a, like when you see pigeons having sex on your windowsill, and you go, "It's all right." It's all right. Get them a damp flannel. Calm them down. Why did you do that to pigeons? Okay, I'm moving on. Because uh, you haven't had sex on my windowsill before. Don't give me that look. You definitely haven't. Don't even... S- no, no. Right, no, next haven't, question. Haven't. Next question. You have to think about that. Well, my next, qu- my next question is... When we were 17, we were walking through the Overgate. This is quite funny, actually. Uh, me, Lisa and Ewan. And there was a little boy who, with blonde hair, quite an I say attractive little boy, he was four or five, so not attractive, but I don't even know how to get out of this one. He was, I didn't find him sexually attractive, he was a four-year-old, but you know what I mean, he, was, he, wasn't, he wasn't a little munter's child, he was probably quite a nice little boy. He was going to grow into a handsome young chap. This story's getting a bit far-fetched. Anyway, Wait, where are you going Ewan this? pointed at the child and said, la- didn't say laugh out loud, laughed and said, ha-ha, it's a little male Madeleine McCann. And then got annoyed at me for saying, yeah, you could just pick him up and put him in your backpack. You started it. Madeleine McCann had been kidnapped for about two days. and you started Two point- days? About two days. Two, two... I don't even know how long it was It was about three years ago, so I couldn't... For like maybe a month or so, and Ewan was laughing, pointing at children in the well gate, going, ha ha ha, Madeleine McCann. And the mum saw, and the mum had a tear on her face, because she knew. About 75% of that's made up. I what bit's made up? Right, say again. I think I may have said that. You definitely did, because I recorded it straight away on your blog, which we all know is true. No. Yeah. Nothing to say to that. No, you can't even just... You're worse, saying let's kidnap him. I didn't say let's kidnap him. I said you could just pick him up and put him in your bag. You obviously heavily considered it after the description you gave of the boy. <laughs> That's horrible. I didn't want to... <laughs> Next question. <laughs> I didn't want to have sex with the four-year-old. That's a horrible 